<laughs> Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I thought I'd do a couple of looks with some ColourPop palettes that I haven't played nearly enough with. And so we'll go ahead and get started. What I did go ahead and do today was use the L'Oreal True Match. I make C1 and C2.5 together to go ahead and get the base look. And I uh, did go ahead and use the Flower Beauty. And this is their Heat Wave Bronzer and Sunrise. So it's a more purpley pink kind of, uh, yeah, I think it works real well. And it's always been one of my favorites. As far as what I did for the cheeks, I used the e.l.f. Liquid Blush in the Moth. And then the Scooby-Doo Highlighter. And uh, this one's from Glam Light. Went ahead and used this top shade up here that actually goes pink. And then I used a little bit of the Revolution. This is their Bubble, bubble Balm. There we go. <laughs> and uh, you basically just swirl your finger in it and then put it on like that. So I have a combination of these two on today. And as far as this first look, I went ahead and used the ColourPop Pretty Guardian uh, for Love and Justice palette. So this is the palette. It's the second one. And um, I actually got it a while ago and I just didn't really play a lot with it. Uh, but I do have this on the uh, lid today, then I put the purple in the crease. It does have some really good topper shades in here. And so I went ahead and used uh, the gray as the topper on the lid. And then this really pretty shade here, and they're both glitters. And with this one, I went from here to here, and then from here to here. And so I have a lot of glitter in this look, and I think it turned out real fun. And then I went ahead and put this on the bottom as an eyeliner, so this uh, periwinkle shade there. I think that's everything that I used. Oh no, I put some of this in the outer corner as well. And this way that the look turned out. So again, a really fun, cool look. Um, I did actually go ahead and use the uh, One Size Ultra Pink Powder. And um, it does, it really, it really is a very vibrant pink color. You don't need very much at all. Um, but yeah, it really set this look and really added some matteness or a matte sort of feeling to it. And, um, yeah, I think it turned out real fun. I did go ahead and use the Super Stay Matting Crayon. This one's in 60. And then as far as the topper, I used ColourPop So Glassy. So that's what I have on there. And as far as a really fun summertime cool look that's light, I think this one really did it. And it's just really pretty. And... Um, yeah, I'll be back in a moment with another look, and uh, see you in a second. <laughs> Hi, it's Adrian back again with a second look, and sort of going anime today. Um, I did use the same base, so it's the True Match C1 and C2. And then as far as what I went ahead and used for a blush, this time I did go ahead and use the Magic Hour, and this one's by Elf. I uh, did go ahead and use a Go Go, which is a just a tint by ColourPop, and the NYX Butter Gloss Bling to go ahead and do the lip. And then, as far as what I went ahead and did uh, for the highlighter, I used this Unusual Beauty and went ahead and used this one and then also the Scooby-Doo and I went ahead and used this bottom shade which is a gold glitter and it's actually a glitter you see the blush underneath it so that's what we have going on for the cheeks and then I did go ahead and use uh, Legend of Korra and with this one I went ahead and did a green look so I started with this in the outer corner this one in the crease, this one on the lid. I uh, did this one on the inner corner, 
and then this one right under the brow. So I did go ahead and use all the greens in there. I also did go ahead and add an Emride uh, green eyeliner as well. This way that the look came out. So we're kind of going anime right now, and uh, yeah, having fun with it. So I think, again, another really fun look. And again, uh, The Legend of Korra is actually one of the ColourPop, uh, one of the really fun palettes that I think has been out for just under a year now. And uh, you can get these over at the ColourPop website. And I'll be back with another look in just a moment here. Okay, back with another look, and we're just going sort of anime so far today. Again, the True Match C.2, or Cool 2.5 and Cool 1, and so I did go ahead and mix those all together. Um, again, I did go ahead and use the Elf in the Magic Hour, and then the Unusual Beauty, and I did go ahead and use uh, this highlighter color. And then I mixed it with the Scooby-Doo and this bottom gold shade, which again is glitter, and you can see the blush right underneath it. So uh, that's what I have on there. As far as what I use for the eyes for this one, it's the um, Avatar, the Last Airbender, and so that's what I have on there. And I did go ahead and use this really pretty mustard shade in the crease. And then I went ahead and used these two on the outer corner, this one on the lid, this one on the inner corner. And then as far as my eyeliner, uh, this is another one of the Emride eyeliners. And so it sort of came out a real fiery kind of look here. With a lot of orange in it, orange and gold. So that's how that came out. And I think it's a real fun look. Um, it definitely is a real, a, a real punchy look. And um, <laughs> I think it's fun to go ahead and do looks like that. And so I did go ahead and use, again, a go-go by, um, this is a Just a Tint by ColourPop. And then I did go ahead and mix the NYX Butter Gloss Blings, uh, the Peach, and the Burgundy together. So, yeah, that's what I ended up with there. And I think it turned out really fun. And I'll be back in a moment with another look for you. <laughs> Casualty. Uh, then we use, or I went ahead and used the Soul, um, let's see, bronzer. This is a face and body bronzer and fair. And again, went ahead and used the Heat Wave um, Sunrise bronzer and the Moth by Elf, and then the Scooby-Doo, and uh, went ahead and used the top one, which actually goes pink, and so that's what I have on as far as the highlighter. And then as far as what I have on the eyes, another anime, this is the Winx Club, the Just Like Magic palette, and uh, this one is by ColourPop as well. I worked over in this side of the palette, and I went ahead and used this one on the crease, this one on the outer corner, this one on the inner corner. Then I used a combination of these two on the lid. And as far as an eyeliner, I did go ahead and get out one of the ColourPop, and these are the multi-chrome eyeliners, and so that's what I have on there. Did use a Beauty Pie as far as the setting and this is their triple glow powder, so that's what I have on there. As far as lips, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and add some of the NYX Butter Gloss Bling on here. And there's that. So yeah, turned out to be a really fun look, a very colorful look. And yeah, we're doing all anime today, so uh, we might as well go ahead and include the Winx Club as well. And I'll be back with one more look in just a moment here. Hi, Adrian back again, and uh, this time, oh, excuse me there, went with a kind of 
older anime kind of went with Disney this time. So um, as far as what I have on, I did go with the Revolution Skin Silk. Again, I mixed it with a little bit of the Soul uh, Face and Body and Fair. And uh, Soul is a sister company to ColourPop. You can get it on the ColourPop website. I did go ahead and mix my blushes. So I have um, the Elf and this one's Magic Hour and then the LYS and Curvy. So I did go ahead and mix these two to go ahead and get this look. And then I did go ahead and use the Unusual Beauty highlighter. And so I went ahead and used this highlighter again. Unusual Beauty, you can pick this up over at Timu. And, <coughs> pardon me, did go ahead and use an MRI eyeliner as well. And for the lips, I did use the Butter Gloss, and I used a regular Butter Gloss, and then the Butter Gloss Bling in Burgundy. So I did go ahead and mix those two colors together. As far as bronzer, the Buttermilk Bronzer and Buttercup. And so this one comes out pretty peachy on me, and that's what I have on for the bronzer. And then um, as far as the eyeshadow, I used Winnie the Pooh, which you can argue is one of the first animes. And uh, the Sweetest Can Be palette. So um, I did go ahead and use this in my crease. Then this right above the crease, I did go ahead and top um, this color with this one. And then as far as what I did on the inner corner, or inner corner, I used this one. Used this one on the lid, and then put a pop of this color right in the middle of the lid. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I think that's just about all that I did with this palette. Again, I used the Emerald Eyeliner in green. And this way that the look came out. So, um, yeah. It came out very much uh, more of a terracotta green kind of look, and so a little bit different from the others. And I did go ahead and use a triple, uh, a Beauty Pie Triple Glow Powder as my uh, all over face powder. So that's what I have on there. And I hope that you've enjoyed this anime kind of look, or these anime looks that we've done today. And hopefully this inspires you, if you have a couple of them, to get them back out and use them this summer. And um, other than that, I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye!